Do you hate the thought of purchasing a new iPhone or iPad because you fear that the data that's on the old device won't be transferred over to the new device? Things like your messages, your contacts, your email, your photos. Well, let's take fear out of the equation. In this video, I'll walk you through backing up your device so that all of your data is transferred from the old one to the new one. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS. Let's jump right in. The first thing we want to do before turning on the new device is making sure that we have everything set up on the old device correctly and that we back up that device one last time. And so to do that, we're going to come into the settings app. Whoops, sorry about that. And then we're going to tap on the name at the top. And that takes us into our iCloud settings. Tap on iCloud. And then these are all the apps that I have right now that are using iCloud and being backed up to iCloud. So make sure you go through those apps and toggle on the switches that you want that data backed up and transferred over. The other thing that you want to make sure is that you have enough storage to create that final backup. So if you are hitting this five gigabyte storage on the right hand side, I personally would recommend that you upgrade to the 50 gigabytes of storage. And if you need more than that, upgrade a little bit more. It, it is well worth it so that you, all of your data is backed up to the cloud. And while we're in our iCloud settings, we're going to scroll down until we see iCloud backup tap on that. This toggle switch should be turned on. And then we're going to tap on backup now. And if you've been backing up on a regular basis, this backup shouldn't take too long. And as you can see, it's already finished. And so now we've done everything we need to do and we're ready to set up our new device. I'm going to push on the home button to get us started. I'm going to tap on English. I'm going to tap on United States and we arrive at the quick start guide. You can follow along and go through the quick start menu if you want. I prefer to set up my new device manually. So that's what I'm going to walk you through, but feel free to follow the quick start guide. In this next screen, you'll be asked to choose your Wi-Fi network and you'll need to know your password. I've already added mine. And now we're ready to set up Touch ID. You can choose to set this up later if you want. I'm just gonna tap on Continue and start using my thumb, right thumb. And I'm going to keep adding. And now it's telling me to adjust my grip, so I'm gonna get catch the outside of my fingerprint or my thumbprint, whatever you're using. And now it's complete. I'll tap on continue. And here we can create a passcode. And if, as you can see, you have options. So if I touch passcode options, you can use a custom option or um, uh, a four digit code. I prefer the four digit code just because it's easier to remember. I'll enter my passcode and then it'll ask you to enter it again. And now we get to the point where we can restore from an iCloud backup. When we get to this point in the process, you have options again. If you already have an iCloud backup, which is what I'm thinking that you're ready to do, you restore from iCloud backup. You can restore from your Mac or PC through iTunes. You can transfer directly from your iPhone. You can move data from Android, or you can set it up as if it's a brand new device and you're not transferring any 
apps or data. I'm going to choose Restore from iCloud Backup. And here I need to know my Apple ID and password. I've entered my Apple ID and my password, and now I'll tap on Next. And now it's telling me it's going to take a few minutes to set up the device, and do I agree to the terms and conditions? I do. And now it's just a matter of waiting for my Apple ID to be set up. Once your Apple ID is set up, you now have a choice of your latest backup or other backups. And so I'm going to choose the most recent backup and I'm going to tap on that. And it's going to ask if I want to customize the setting, cu customize the settings, or do I want to just keep the settings the same as they were? I'm going to leave everything the same. And that way it will pull everything exactly how I had it set up before on my previous iPhone. So I'm going to tap continue. And in a few seconds, it should tell us, okay, so now it moves us into other things. You know, we can set up Apple Pay. I'm going to set that up later. And now it wants to set up Siri. And I'll go ahead and do that. I'll tap on continue. Hey Siri, hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. And now Siri's ready to be used. I'll tap on continue. I'll tap on continue again. And here you have the option to improve Siri and dictation. You can share your audio recordings, which I usually choose to share with Apple because I want things to improve. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And you can share your app analytics with developers. I choose to do that as well. You can make your own decisions. And now uh, my phone is being restored from my iCloud backup. As you can see, my phone has been completely restored and I have a little uh, notification on settings. I'm going to tap on that. and. Basically, it just wants me to go ahead and set up Apple Pay, which I chose not to do in the previous video. So I'm just going to leave that alone for right now. But if you have a lot of photos or contacts or messages, things that you've backed up and want to come on to this new phone, it may take a little time to do it. So just give your iPhone a chance to download everything that you backed up previously and all of your settings and everything that you had on your previous device should be on your new device. So that's it for this week's video. I'll see you next time.